Okay, so I'm going to start the read aloud for your science test, and it is this one right here. Okay, so let's start. So right here, it's asking what period you're in. So go ahead and indicate what period you're in. You're in either first, second, third, fifth, or sixth. And then the next one, you need to type in your first name, then your last name. And then here we go. Number one. Geologic time is divided into units based upon evidence from sedimentary rocks, climatic changes, fossils, igneous rocks. Number two, scientists know that a meteorite impact caused dinosaurs to become extinct. True or false? Number three, which conclusion about the Tamiami formation is supported by the evidence in the diagram and table? So we're going to look at this diagram. The diagram shows where a rock layer called the Tamiami formation exists in Florida. The table lists the types of fossils found in the formation. Here are the fossils that are found in the formation. Barnacles, mollusks, corals, and planktons. Which conclusion below about the Tamiami formation is supported by these evidence in the diagram? Is it the Tamiami formation is shrinking in size as new fossils are created? Is it the Tamiami formation is currently growing in size as new sediments are deposited? Is it the part of Florida containing the Tamiami formation was once underwater. Is it the part of Florida containing the Tamiami formation is currently below sea level? Number four. The principle of uniform uniformitarianism states that sedimentary rocks are deposited in horizontal layers. Is it true or false? Number five, the oldest rock layer in an undisturbed rock sequence occurs. So is the oldest rock layers occurring at the bottom of the sequence, below the sedimentary rock layer, below the unconformity, or at the top of the sequence? Number six, the principle of blank states that in an undisturbed sequence, the oldest rocks are at the bottom of the sequence and successive layers are younger than those below them. So is it the principle of uniformitarianism, the principle of inclusions, the principle of cross-cutting relationships, the principle of lateral continuity, or the principle of superposition. Number seven, the remains of living plants or animals are called fossils. True or false? Number eight, determining the order, uh, the order of events and the relative age of rocks by examining the position of rocks in a sequence is called, is it absolute dating? Is it radiometric dating? Is it relative dating? Or is it radiocarbon dating? Number nine, the principle of superposition can be used to determine the actual age of these rock layers, the relative density of these rock layers, the actual temperatures of these rock layers, the relative age of these rock layers. Number 10, the diagram shows a rock 
profile containing layers of different types of rock, an ingenious intrusion, which sequence lists the correct order of events in the area represented in the diagram. Is it igneous intrusion Y, shell, igneous intrusion X, limestone, and mudstone? Is it mudstone, limestone, shell, igneous intrusion Y, igneous intrusion X? Or is it igneous intrusion X, igneous intrusion Y, shell, limestone, and mudstone? Or is it mudstone, limestone, igneous intrusion Y, shell, and igneous intrusion X. So you are going to list this sequence in the correct order. And I just read you the order. Okay. Which is true of the rock layers shown below? Look at this graph. This says Precambrian, Cambrian, or Dovidian, uh, I don't know how to read these, but these are the names. So based on this, what is true? Only older rock contains fossils of complex life forms. Or is it only younger rock contains fossils of simple life forms? Or is it both older and younger rocks contain fossils of the most complex life forms? Or is it only younger rock contains fossils of complex life forms? Number 12, refer to the figure below to answer the following question. Layer J is blank than layer N. So here is layer J. And here's layer N. Is it that layer J is older than layer N? Is it layer J is the same age as layer N? Or is it layer J is younger than layer N? Or is it layer J is denser than layer N? Same diagram for number 13. Refer to the figure below to answer the following question. Event P occurred blanked layer H. So here is event P. And here is layer H. Is event P occurred after layer H? Event P occur at the same time as layer H? Or event P occur before layer H? Number 14, same diagram. Refer to the figure below to answer the following question. The inclusions in M are blank the rock itself. So here is the layer for M. M is right here. So are the inclusions in M are younger than the rock itself? Or the inclusions in M are the same age as the rock itself. The inclusion in M are older than the rock itself. Or the inclusions in M are similar to the rock itself. Number 15, same diagram. Refer to the figure below to answer the following question. Layer L is blank than layer H. Here is layer L, here is layer H. Is layer L older than layer H? Is layer L the same age as layer H? Is layer L younger than layer H? Or is layer L the same type of rock as layer H? When you have completed this test, go ahead and press the submit button.